Hello, everyone. Hi, <laughs> um, on SinShare. Yay. I am Amy Gardner, three star director here at Champion. And I'm Jessica Gordon, director here at Champion. <laughs> awesome. So, why, Jessica, do they want SinShare? So, um, yeah, I know you guys are probably wondering why do we need to add another tool to our business, right? Because we already have Tub Social, right? And we have all this amazing training through Champion. So why would we even want to have another tool like SimShare, right? So for me, I, what I want to share with you all today is that it has totally made a huge difference in my business. Um, I don't know about you, but you know, um, Facebook parties are hot right now. And when you're scheduling two to three parties a week, it could get overwhelming. And um, sometimes that over when you're overwhelmed, you're kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. It's just too much work. You know, I want to spend time with my family. I have all this other stress that I have to deal with. And I don't want to deal with the stress of posting for my Facebook parties, right? Or even coming up with content, right? And I don't want us to deviate away from Tup Social because it's amazing. Okay, don't forget we have great content in Tup Social. I highly recommend using that for your VIP groups, um, even for your parties as well. But what's great about SendShare, what I have found is that there is a batch post, guys. Yes, it's called batch posting. And what you can do is after um, Amy shows you how to create these posts, you can make a template for your Facebook parties. Okay, <laughs> listen to this. And then what you can do is schedule all your parties at once. So it's just a few little clicks, click, click, click. You schedule um, the post you want into your Facebook parties and then they launch all together. So it has definitely saved me so much time. It is definitely less stressful. And during that time, I'm able to spend more time with my family, whether that be activities or other, whatever else you guys have planned um, for the day or for the week. So you can do this at the beginning of the week, midweek, you know, whatever, however you decide to do it. So I'm really excited to go through this with Amy with you guys and share um, how we utilize this in our Tupperware business. And I hope you guys also find some great tips as well. So it's your turn, Amy. Yay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. And um, I'm going to start with uh, the, sh the scheduling of posts because uh, the, the post is what I mean, this is this is the main part, right? Is the post. So um, you can come in here and you can put in a little message. So I'm just gonna be like, hi, I'm Amy, whoops, Gardner, and welcome. All right. And then you can add a link to this or um like a video, if you have a video, you can add a video link to it, or you can add a picture to it. Um, you can actually add, oops, hang on, you can actually add multi pictures to this if you wanted to. So if you wanted to just add one, just click on the camera. If you want to add more than one, then click on this little camera plus, because the camera plus, you can um, drop more than one picture in here at a time. And so I'm actually going to um, click on um, that one uh, and all right. And then we'll add another one just so that you can see that you can add, add two to it, all right. And so once you have both of those uploaded, uh, then you're gonna scroll down and you're going to hit close. And then both of those photos are in here and you can see where it says a little two. All right, once you have this part done, then you can uh, scroll down and you can start saving these and you can create new, fo new folders by clicking where it says select a folder. If you don't have any folders because you're brand new, then go ahead and come over here and scroll um, down and then you will create a new folder. Um, I think I already have one that says me, but we'll just, um, We'll go ahead and put an nope I don't so me and and then come down here and click save now if you wanted to you could just hit um save and it'll just go to your save file all right if you don't want to create a new folder 
for that. Now, once you have all of your folders, so all your folders are gonna be over here in your manage your posts, all right? And so I'm gonna show you this. So uh, you have, and you have your content library. And so this here is stuff that you have from uh, Sinshare. They give you freebies. Isn't that awesome? And they give you, um, so there's some free graphics that you have down here and you just scroll down. Um, oops, I got to minimize this so I can do this. And so you just scroll down and you can share any of these and they're, they're fun, right? Look at this one. Let's see what this is. Do you have a little chef in your family? And then you can write a little pet, write a little message over here and then you can um, share that or you can save that. All right. Uh, and then you have your Canva tem templates. Love Canva. And so engagement posts. Um, oh my gosh, look at all of these engagement posts that you have available for us. And then you have your theme parties. Um, here again, tons of different um, posts for you. All right. And then you have your, and this is all in your content um, in your content library. So, and then you just go through all those different ones, but then you have your saved, all right? So you can click on saved and these ones are um, without a folder. <laughs> they need a home. But then over here, we have our different folders and you can see I have like a little plus here. So for my breakfast maker, that's because I shared it. And so when you're sharing it, um, you share, scroll up over here, go to this little guy and you can, um, where is the share? Not, maybe just click on here. Oh, you click on this one over here and then you can share your folder. So you can unshare or you can share, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, so you can, anyone that has sin share, you can share your different folders with them. And so I love that. And um, you also have, I'm gonna click that one up. You also have your pending uh, folder. So what's pending? I have something pending in Facebook. Oh, look, on February 16th. So today at 3.15, I have a post that is ready to go out and to be shared. Um, and then you have your history and history for Facebook or Instagram. Now, when you are um, for your Facebook and your Instagram, where, how are you going to do that? So what you need to do is you need to go here to my networks and you need to add your networks and you, uh, I have my, my personal page, right? And then I have my Facebook groups and I also have my business page. So and the little I means that we can see it. And the little heart means that it is, um, it is all ready to go. So like if I wanted to click on, see these, I, I don't, I'm hiding those ones because those aren't necessarily ones that are open anymore. All right. And so I just hide them. Now, if it has a little broken heart that see how it says action required. So let's just click on that heart and it says connect group on Facebook. So now I'm going to hit on that tab and it should take me straight to that group because I need to connect it on Facebook. And so once you connect it on Facebook to do that, you have to do this from a laptop. All right. You can't do this on oops on your um, on your um, phones just yet, on our smartphones. But you're gonna come over here, you're gonna go down to settings and you're gonna scroll down, actually it was already on settings and you're gonna go to app. So manage advanced settings and you're gonna go to app and you're gonna hit on the little pencil. And you need to scroll down again and add apps. And then over here in the search, just type in, Sent share. All right. So, and add. Pretty easy, right? You know what, though? While we're in here, let's go ahead and add Tub Social too, because, like Jessica was saying, we want to utilize both of these, all right, and use both of these. So, not only are we using um, 
the CINSHARE, but we're still using our top social as well. All right, they're both um, equally as important. So then we're gonna go to the home and once, and the home is um, actually the home of the, the group. So, and we're going to delete because they don't need to know we added an app to it, all right? So we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna delete those um, those posts because they don't they don't need to know that. All right, and so once that that is done, then you go back to send share, and you can close this little guy out. And Amy's sale. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, you need to hit refresh. So let's see. Hit refresh. It'll take a moment. Shouldn't take too long. But once it's done refreshing, you should see that it will have a complete heart. So when it has the complete heart, all we have to do then is click on it. And I'll show you that once it pops up. Um, hopefully it'll take um, not too much longer, even a few seconds. <laughs> it can seem like an eternity, right? All right, so it is definitely going slower than I had hoped for, but there it is. So Amy's sale. So we wanna keep an eye on that and we wanna put a heart on that. So now when I go over here to create a message or to share, let's actually get a message um, so I can just click on it. Um, we'll do the chip and dip bowl hit the little arrow because the arrow means that we're going to share it and then come over here and Amy's sale. So I can click on that. And then the time is 137, which it's 135 right now. So, and then one at today. So I wanted to, to post today in just two minutes. All right. And, and then you hit over here and you hit schedule and that's it. Pretty easy, right? Okay, wait, because um, there's not actually anything here. Let me, let me go back. I'm gonna leave this page and post something that um, will have actual relevance to it. All right, so we're gonna hit Amy sale. Then the time is 138. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit schedule post. Would you like to return to manage post? Yeah, let's return. Um, and then you can do another one or you can go back here and we can actually see that that is ready to go at 138. And if you wanted to, you could actually go over here to edit post, copy post or delete the post. All right, and so a lot of times if I am making a new post, I want to schedule it. Um, I will go back over here and I will hit copy post. So then I can save it after I have it scheduled. So it's pretty easy. And actually we're gonna have Jessica now show us yay, how to do a batch post. It's amazing. Hello everyone. So let me go ahead and um, share my screen. So I am on my sync share as well. Um, can you see that Amy? Yes. Yes, okay. I can. So um, I've logged in. And like Amy said, you're going to go down here where it says manage post. Okay. So I have my five day Facebook party. I have it in a folder. Okay. And so when I click on that, I have it all ready for my parties that I have scheduled this week. All right. So using the batch post. So this is when I want to use my batch post. So here where I, where I have Facebook party day one, I'm going to click on it. And then you see all these little squares here at the top. What you're going to do is click all the posts that you want for that day. Okay. So I would do this one and this one and this one and this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So they're all ready to be posted. All right. And then so what you're going to do next is go up to these three bars up here. Okay. You're going to click that. And then right here where it says batch post, you're going to click the batch post, but don't forget, you're already going to have your parties link like Amy already showed you. You're going to have those connected to sync share before you do this. Okay. So then you're going to click the batch post. 
And then here's all my networks that are, or all my Facebook groups that are connected to Sentia right now. So um, if I wanna do Becca's party, Beth's party, Janice's party, and then Kim's party, what I do is just click those four parties, okay? And you can see over here where it says batch post, these are the ones that are gonna go out that day, okay? And then over here, just like Amy showed you with the single post, it's the same idea. You're gonna click what day you want it to start, all right? What time you wanted it to start. So right now it's what, oh, I can't see it because Amy, our picture's there. Okay, it's 1.38. So I could start this at like 1.45. PM. And then right here is where you um, change your intervals. Okay. So if you want it to go like every hour, every 30 minutes, every two hours, three hours, you have control of that. Okay. So um, I'm going to do every hour. Okay. So I changed that to one hour and then I'm going to click apply interval. Okay. So then over here, you could see off to the right, it's going to post every hour. Now you can change this too, if you want to, like if you wanted these two posts to go 30 minutes after each other, you can just change it right here. Okay. And then what you're going to do next is schedule batch. And I'm not going to do that right now because <laughs> I don't want these going into these parties right now. And that's all you're going to do. And then they're going to post at those times for that day. All right. So it's that easy to do a batch post. All right. So um, I am going to stop my sh sharing. Okay. All right, Amy. That was awesome. I am so excited about the whole bashing post because I had no idea. You were like, we need to share about the batch post. I'm like, okay. <laughs> right? Go ahead. I don't know what you're Thank talking about. So much time. It's amazing. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So. Oh, it's amazing. So do we have any questions, Jessica? Yes, that we do have some questions today. Okay. So. Uh, the first question I have is, can we do this from our phone? So the answer is yes, you can schedule posts from your phone. However, you have to set it up initially on your laptop. So excellent. All right. Our second question, how do we create a folder? Okay, so it's really easy and you just click on save um, and uh, folder, right? Yeah. Yeah, you did it. I seen it. I, it's good yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Canva, they noticed that Canva was at the top when you, um, you know, oh, yeah. get into SyncShare. Can you actually edit using the Canva tab at, under the you SyncShare? Yes, you can. I actually went in and I did one um, and you can edit it. Now, I, I did notice it's a little bit different though when you're editing it through SinShare as to um, when you are actually in Canva, but um, there's only a little bit of a difference. And so you can still definitely make those awesome memes that we make. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, and the next question is, how much does it cost? So right now, um, you can actually do a trial, a 30-day trial, yes, and um, just ask Jessica or myself, and we will give you a link um, to try it out for 30 days. And then beyond that 30 days, it's what, like $10 a month, mm -hmm. I believe? Definitely worth an investment though, and a write-off right. as well. Or you can do a whole year, I think, for a hundred is what I what I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. then you save a couple of months. Yeah. Perfect. So, um doing the batch post, um Facebook jail, is that something that we need to worry about? Um, what do you I don't think so. No. I've done, I mean, I've done probably, probably the most parties I've done at once. I think it was six or seven. <laughs> and um, I didn't have any notifications from Facebook for Facebook jail or anything. Everything went smoothly. They all posted and I, I thought it went really well. So not that awesome. I know of. So yeah, we should I, be okay with Facebook jail. Yes, or I agree. Going into Facebook jail. <laughs> yeah, I so. agree. I agree. All right. Well, that's all the questions that I have today. Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Thank you for tuning in to our hot topic today with um, Sunshare. We hope you guys um, were able to learn something from this. And if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to Amy and I. We'd be happy to help you. Awesome. Thanks.
Bye. Bye.